Hello kids, I welcome you all on my YouTube channel Sumit Education. In a starry night, you all have wondered what are these stars, from where they came, from where they received their, their twinkling lights. So today, I am going to take you on the journey of space. Yes, so would you like to come with me? I know you would. So come and sit in my spaceship. And here we go. Now we are landing on galaxy. Yes, see this rotating place. This is our galaxy and our galaxy is Milky Way. And you know, there are billions of galaxies in the universe and they are made up of various stars, various planets, various comets, etc, etc. So let's move more closer to the galaxy. Now we are watching the stars. Yes, blinking stars. And you know, these stars are the bomb of gases bomb of burning gases there are there are explosions day and night yes okay so you know our sun is also a star yes and it is the closest star to the earth and there is burning of hydrogen gas into the helium gas that's why we receive light from the sun and you know sun has also a family similarly similarly as we have family the sun also has a family yes and its family is solar system it has planets and comets and satellites okay so let's read about the sun family that is solar system the planets rotate all day and night around the sun and they receive light from the sun they cannot emit or they cannot produce light itself that's and they receive light from the sun okay now the first planet of solar system is mercury yes our ship has been landed on mercury and it is the closest to the sun and it is the hottest planets in the solar system and it is a smallest planet in the solar system okay now the second planet is venus and you know it is spin in the opposite direction of other planet yes the all planets is spin from west to east but this is spin in from east to west okay and it is also known as the evening or morning star because though it is not a star but it only visible in the sky in the evening or in the morning that's why it is known as the evening or the morning star and it is the brightest planet in the solar system okay now let's move to the third planet that is the earth and you know it is the only planet in the solar system in which life is possible and why it is possible because of its water and the atmosphere okay and can you see the light red line it is the earth axis and it is tilted not vertical so our earth is tilted little bit okay now the next planet is red planet yes and it is mars and why it is red because of iron oxide present on it okay so it is red planet in the solar system the next member is Jupiter and the Jupiter is the largest planet of the solar family and you know it contain it can contain 1300 earth in itself okay so it is largest okay the next planet is okay so the not next planet it is asteroids the can you see the green and the pink ball in the screen yes these are the asteroids between the Jupiter and the Mars the, the, these are the strips of ball like a structure you can say the stone like a structure between the Jupiter and the Mars okay so these are the asteroids now see this ring see this beautiful ring and this is Saturn and because of these beautiful ring this is the most beautiful planet in the solar system okay the next planet is Uranus yes you know it is spin like a ball actually not a spin it rolls like a ball all the planet is spin like a top but it rolls like a ball in the solar family and similar as Venus it also spin from 
or you can say rolls from east to west opposite are the other the planet okay now the next planet is neptune and you know it is the lar it is the farthest planet or you can say the it is the last planet in the solar family okay and it is the coldest because it is the farthest from the sun okay now planet has been over the next is comet yes you have must you must have listen about the comets yes you know the, can you see the bright light it is tail of comets which is always away from the sun and it is always approaching toward the sun and you know it is visible from the earth yes last time we have seen it in 1986 and it was heli comet and now it will reappear after 76 years okay now the next is oh you kn- you must know about this this is shooting star yes but you know in solar family it is known as meteorites these are the meteorites which spin around the sun all the time but sometimes they enter into the earth's atmosphere and they seem as a shooting star okay now the next one is moon i know you must know about it but you know these are the satellites they rotate around the planets yes as our planets rotate around the sun similarly the moon or satellites or you can say natural satellites rotate around the planets yes so mercury and venus has no satellite but other planets have satellites and jupiter has maximum number of satellite and titan is the saturn satellite okay saturn's largest satellite and our earth has only one satellite that is moon now see our satellite see how moon is rotating or you can say spin around the earth yes this is our moon okay now as natural satellite we also have artificial satellites and these are made by humans and these are launched from the earth okay now have you ever observed how you are watching these online videos or or how you can communicate with your friends on the mobile okay because of these are satellite these satellites these artificial satellite they are placed on the axis or you can say in the space they transmit signals from earth and to the earth okay so these are the artificial satellite and you know first satellite from launch from india was the aryabhat yes and other satellites are like cartosat ajusat etc you must read about it okay now okay now we have completed our journey of space and it's time to go home and i know you must have enjoyed the journey okay so tell me whether you enjoyed or not by pressing the like or unlike button okay till the next video bye